Hello everyone, this is an introduction video for bare metal programming in Tiva series microcontroller based on TM4C123 GLX Texas microcontroller. And in this video, I am just going to discuss with you the things that you are gonna learn throughout this tutorial series. Let's get started. First and foremost thing is the hardware component that we are going to use throughout this tutorial series. The hardware that I am going to use is this Tiva C series launchpad development board by Texas Instrument. This is one of the cheapest development board produced by Texas Instrument which you can buy in any online store. So I am just going to use this development board throughout this tutorial series of bare metal programming in Tiva series microcontroller. And for the starting, we are just going to learn what is ARM processors, various types of ARM processors, and then we will learn what is ARM architecture and memory maps of ARM architecture. Since the microcontroller that we are going to learn is TM4C123, which is based on ARM architecture, that is ARM Cortex M, you must have a better understanding of the ARM Cortex M architecture for understanding the internal register structure of this microcontroller. So for that purpose, we are just going to learn some of the basics of ARM processors before going into the actual programming part. And after doing all these things, after gaining these knowledges, we will move on with installing the softwares and drivers required for this TM4C123 microcontroller onto your PC. We are not going to use any paid softwares. All the softwares and drivers are available for free and I will be guiding you for installing those softwares in your Windows PC. And then after installing the softwares, we are just going to start writing the programming by developing the basic program of GPIO driver development. We will be configuring the GPIO pins of the microcontroller that is the general purpose input output pins of the microcontroller as output. And then we will try to write the basic program of LED blink as the first thing. And then we will configure the GPIO pins as input and then we will interface the buttons to our microcontroller. And further we will be interfacing LCDs and keypads to this microcontroller. And remember one thing, we are not going to refer any third party API or any of the HAL functions. We are just going to write and configure all the internal registers by ourselves in embedded C. And then we are just going to develop our own driver for this microcontroller. And after completing the basics of GPIO, we will move on with the external interrupt. And we will try to configure the GPIO pins of the microcontroller as external interrupt pins. And then we will try to implement the interrupt handler required for that external interrupt. And after completing that, we will move on to the cystic timers. So basically all the ARM processors will be having a cystic timer which is the system timer. We will try to understand what is cystic timers in ARM processors and then we will use the cystic timers handler for generating delays in our program. We will implement that and we will see it practically in our IDE. After completing that we will go to the general purpose timers. So these timers are available for many applications right delay generation, pulse width measurement, etc. So we are just going to learn the various modes of timers in this microcontroller and then we are just going to implement at least one example for all the modes of timers like timer interrupt, timer output compare, timer input capture. After completing the timers, we are just going to write our own program for ADC peripheral of this microcontroller. That is we have a 12 bit resolution analog to digital converter available by default in this microcontroller. We are just going to configure that ADC available in this microcontroller and then we will try to write our own driver for interfacing some analog sensors to this microcontroller. Definitely we are just going to interface at least one analog sensor to this microcontroller. And coming to the communication part, after completing all these things, we are just moving to the communication section of this microcontroller. 
this microcontroller supports various modes of communications like UART, I2C, SPI, etc. We are just going to write our drivers for all these communications. That is, we will be writing our own drivers for UART communication, that is, universal asynchronous receiver transmitter communication. And we will try to interface devices like Bluetooth, RFID, etc. to this microcontroller. And after completing the UART communication driver development, we are just going to develop our own drivers for SPI communication in this microcontroller. SPI is nothing but Serial Peripheral Interface Communication Protocol. And then we will try to interface some of the devices like EEPROMs or LCDs which uses SPI communications for interfacing that to our microcontroller using SPI communication. And that's all about the curriculum for this tutorial series on bare metal programming in Tiva series microcontroller. For now, this is the base curriculum of this tutorial series. Of course, this is not the finalized curriculum of this tutorial series. I will be updating this tutorial series with new videos. So stay tuned for watching more videos. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates. Or you can also just follow me on smtrainingacademy.com which is my website keep watching enjoy learning and see you in the next video